from Bulldog Turf, or maybe I should say Kern Terrier Turf <laughs> at Crown Point High School. This is uh, Jim Peters along with Steve Hanlon and Moon Unit. Moon Unit Hanlon? Yes. Family member? All right. Guess what he says when he eats french fries. <laughs> what does he say? Bon appetit. Oh, Steve will be here all the week, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. $5 cover, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, in all seriousness, um, or <laughs> who are we kidding? Uh, hey, we're here at Crown Point uh, previewing the Bulldogs game this week against the Merrillville Pirates. 2-0 and Crown Point, 0-2 Merrillville. Doesn't quite tell the whole story there, though, does it? No, uh, Merrillville schedule much tougher than Crown Points uh, with Warren Central and Andrean. Um, you know, this game is always a game, as Chip Pettit said earlier, for all the records out uh but this has to be the first time in 50 years Crown Point's week three has played a Maribel team without a win. So, uh, you know, it's going to be, a, it's always a great ball game. Um, you know, I, I think it's going to be the one to watch Friday. Is Crown Point as good as their 2-0 and record or is Maribel not as good as, or you know, their 0-2 record? So what do you think, Cody? Moon unit? At a loss for words, <laughs> probably like our viewers most of the time. So, our canine correspondent had a chance to speak to Chip Pettit, and who was their uh, player that we spoke to? Pete Parks. Oh, very good. All right, and here, and here's a little bit from uh, that interview. Chip, two and zero start. I love being on dog turf. Um, kind of summarize how the Bulldogs have played through the first two weeks of the season. Well, I think we've gotten off to a good start. We've been able to take care of the ball offensively, and the defense has been pretty stingy uh, the last two weeks. So we get a, uh, a wide-open offensive attack in, in Merrillville that's always a challenge for us and uh, um, anxious to kick off the, the Doomland season. I know how cool it is being a dog. Tell me, how cool is it being a bulldog right now? Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, we started our season off 2-0, and and now... We really start our season off in the conference against Merrillville at home, which should be a pretty big game. How big is the Merrillville game for you guys? Um, I mean, it probably ranks up there as one of the top, if not the top game of our season. I mean, it's a, they're right next door to us. It's a pretty big rival, pretty big game. Uh, what are the key? I'm, I'm sorry. What are the keys Friday night against Merrillville? Well, I, th I think that uh, we, we have not played a team that has the speed of Merrillville, and uh, our kids are going to have to adjust to that and, and, and respect their speed. Uh, Merrillville is also uh, very diverse offensively, a, a different style than we've seen the, the first couple of weeks. So uh, I hope that we can uh, maintain good angles and, and keep everything in front of us. But uh, other than that, it, it's the normal. Uh, good special teams, limit penalties, don't turn the ball over, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good night. And just one final question to clarify, is this dog turf or bulldog turf? Well, I, th I think maybe that uh, we, we've hit a new standard here on, the, on Friday Night Insight in, in bringing the dog out here to uh, uh, the, the dog pound here at Crown Point. But uh, I, I guess it can be whatever the dog wants it to be this week. Okay. Give Chip a high five. Elsewhere in, in these parts this Friday, uh, Griffith taking on um, Holbert and uh, River Forest against Lake Station. Uh, Griffith, Holbert, first of all, Griffith one and one, Holbert one and one. Uh, uh, you know, the Panthers played competitively, at least uh, score wise, in week one against Morton and then rolled as expected last week against New Prairie. And as we alluded to earlier, with Holbert not uh, quite sure what to you know, uh, what we got with the Brickies yet based on uh, in, uh, playing West Side uh, in week one and then the, these uh, Crown Point Bulldogs in week two. Yeah, um, you know, even though uh, Cody here uh, is picking Griffith for no other reason than the Boneyard uh, roof, uh, I think <laughs> this <too>. game, <laughs> I think this game's a coin flip as well. Uh, you know, they always play to each other close, kind of like Crown Point Maribel. Mm -hmm. Uh, throw the records out, uh, you know, I, it's hard to say because uh, neither team, is. it's hard to get a gauge on either team. I think whoever comes out, plays hard, will win. Uh, River Forest with a 
win up north last week in, in Eau Claire against, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the nickname of Eau Claire. Claire. E. Claire. Uh, that an E. Claire sounds pretty good right about now. But the, the ingots got in the W column there. Uh, Lake Station took one on a chin against the against the uh, Panthers of, of, of Roosevelt. So uh, My picks, I think I was winless last week. So <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> but I th- uh, he, he, we threw out the tired cliche about uh, you know, the, the records not mattering and throwing out the records, and that's uh, usually the case in, in this one as well. Yep. Um, Mike Kep, uh, the first year coach at Lake Station, uh, second year, but I think he beat, beat River Forest last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think so. Didn't they go three and zero? Yeah, River went three and zero last That's year. Right. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. Mike Kep, sorry, dude. Got your bad. Got some bad information from your. Uh, <laughs> Come on, dude. Source there. But uh, you know, th- this one is. If I wasn't going to be here, uh, I would be there. It's a great rivalry, and uh, you know. It, it, there's really not much else to say. Whoever scores the most points wins. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that insight. That's the beauty of high school football, though. Uh, it doesn't have to be a couple of 5A powers vying for a state title for it to be a good football game. It's competitive at a lot of levels. Enjoy the lovely late summer weather. Get out to a football game of your choice on Friday night, and uh, we'll see you next week uh, along with uh, you know, an- another correspondent to be determined on Friday Night Insight. Do you have any cats? Two dogs. Later. Roof.